Okay, hello, it's Delusion Dispeller, back to talk to you more and share more about the narcissistic and histrionic traits based on this movie, Big Eyes. Uh, we left where Walter was asking the journalists to get him a story quick, to calm things down. In other words, to help people refocus their eyes back on how wonderful he is and to think Margaret is crazy. So let's see what happens. Doesn't even make sense. When I studied art at the Beaux Arts in Paris, she was still a little kid in Tennessee. Look, my early sketches. Berlin orphans, 1949. Remember, he had Margaret make him the portfolio. So now he's trying to brag about how he studied art at this famous art place, this school. And look, I have my portfolio here. These are my early sketchings. So he's trying to convince the journalist that he has all these early sketchings that Margaret was still a kid when he started his art studies. So he's still trying to snow another person. Let's see what happens and if it goes down the way he plans it. I love that part. It's just funny. Now, whatever your opinions are about Jehovah Witnesses, everybody has their own opinion, and of course they're the brunt of many jokes. But here, Walter paints them like some kind of Aborigine natives or something. She She's nuts. She came on hen. She left me to move into the jungle. She moved to Hawaii and fell in with religious zealots. Okay, yes, Jehovah Witnesses are very um, zealous, but he paints them to be like some kind of a bangy bangy from some tribe in Africa and that's not at all what's going on here of course he doesn't know because he doesn't live with her anymore thank god she got smart and left him but he's trying to make her look like some kind of nutcase that left him to go move out into some tropical island jungle place and that is so far from and and he knows better yeah he doesn't live with her but still let's give him at least enough credit to know that she didn't do that he knows where she's at. He found her and he called her. So obviously he has some idea how she's doing and what's going on. So there we go. The narcissist being all grandiose and then trying to show her work off as his own and trying to get somebody to speak against her in an editorial fashion. Ugh, he never uh, never quits. They, they never stop their antics. Here we go. Continued. They won't even let Janie go to the prom. He makes me sound crazy. He said that I copied him, that he taught me how to paint. She used a slide projector to trace my work and fill in the colors. And which part of that is untrue? All of it. I feel good about myself for the first time in years, and I can't let Walter just take that away from me. He is Jehovah okay with Sue. <laughs> I love that. Her daughter pipes up, Hey, is Jehovah okay with suing? She gives her the idea that, you know, reclaim yourself all the way. Take him to court. Be done with it. Move on. You know, smart kid. Smart. Because Margaret sees that he's still trying to take credit and painting her as crazy. So, not cool. Let's continue. Seventeen million dollars. The art world is a buzz. Today at federal court, lawyers will present their opening arguments in the case of Margaret Keene versus Walter Keene and Gannett Newspapers, a trial that could produce the largest libel and slander award in Hawaiian history. Okay, we're going to wait on that. I'm going to forward a little bit past this right into the courtroom because that's just talking about the case and setting it up. Oh, we'll watch Walter be interviewed here outside the courtroom in just a minute. There it is. All right, everybody's going into the courtroom now. Old trial dismissed by noon. My only concern is that somebody get this woman some psychiatric help. She needs. All right, excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Okay, once again, Walter is saying 
that Margaret needs psychiatric help. Now he's telling it in front of the cameras to try to get more people to believe him, of course. And now we are in the courtroom. This is my favorite part of the whole entire movie, probably. How many years back did these go? Mrs. Keene has been making these statements since 1958. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit, because what they're about to say is that because Margaret all along had said that Walter was the original painter, there isn't a whole lot they can do to sue the paper for posting uh, that about her. So, they dismiss the Gannett, Gazette, whatever it is, and basically Walter has no supporters at that point. They say that we can't sue you for libel anymore because what you said, Margaret said, was true. She did say that Walter painted the paintings. So they were done with them. They didn't need their testimony anymore. Turn about my old pal, Walter Keene. The Hawaiian heat may have cooked his brain. <laughs> the only thing he knows about courtrooms and lawyers comes from watching Perry Mason on television. I am the sole creator of my art. This is my entire life. My contribution to the world. Mr. Kane, I've told you you must ask the witness questions. If you're acting as your own attorney, you cannot make statements at this time. It's hard to keep all these things straight. Mrs. Keene, how do you expect anybody to swallow your fantastic story? Mr. Kane. Mrs. Keene. You seem to be a lucid, reasonably intelligent woman. So how could you possibly have gone along with a far-out scheme like that? I felt forced into it. You had me in. He had me dominated. He would rant and rave if I didn't give him what he wanted. I was afraid, and I didn't see any options, so I went along. May I remind you that you're under oath? <coughs> I just gave him. I allowed him to take credit for the big eyes. They were a reflection of my feelings, and it was like losing a child. But I was weak. I didn't think that I could lead and support myself and my daughter, and he said that no one would buy the paintings without his personality. Maybe he was right. So, he said, meaning Walter, that nobody would buy my paintings without his personality. If that does not sound narcissistic, I don't know what does. And the reason why that worked with her is because back in those days, women really didn't have a voice. And people really probably would not be intrigued with a woman painter. So he kind of used that to his advantage because it was an era where women were not popularly in the spotlight or famous anything. And he used that. He basically said, nobody's going to believe it if it has your name on it, so we'll just put my name on it. But then he took it way too far, as we know. Continuing. love that part. He basically is painting himself as two different people, right to her, saying, you know, I did this and I did that. And he said, well, you're, or no, she said that about him. I'm sorry. She said, you did this and then you did that. And he said, you're kind of making me sound like two different people. And she said, that's right. You're a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And he said, that's an outrageous statement. And <laughs> got all frustrated again. Another narcissistic injury, reaction, narcissistic rage. He's good at that, isn't he? He's very, very talented uh, 
actor, the guy that plays him, but definitely the character was very dramatic, and that is very histrionic, by the way, the way he's acting. Histrionic isn't always a good thing. They're not always just funny, upbeat people. Some of them are just really villainous and angry people and loud. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> so he stirs her up in front of the courtroom, gets her all yelling and everything, and then he plays the hero. I'm sorry for my emotion. Then, oh, gosh, this, this movie, I'm telling you, is so classically narcissistic. I'm really glad I chose it because it totally depicts a narcissist. Anyway, thank you, Tim Burton, for creating it. Even if it might not be totally factual, your characters are perfect to show these personality disorders. And histrionic, not just narcissistic. Okay, so stay tuned, because I'm running out of uh, room on my cameras. I may have to delete some things in a little bit, and uh, I will be right back with you. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.